Well, this week, the State Board of Education unanimously approved two new rules against DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, that will apply to Florida's 28 state and community colleges. As the Tampa Bay Times reports, the rules prohibit spending on diversity efforts and on programs or activities promoting or engaging in political or social activism. The other rule removes sociology as an option to fulfill state requirements for what are known as the general education or core courses that all students must take to graduate. The sociology option will be replaced with an introductory course about American history prior to 1877. The Board of Governors will take a final vote on the new rules this Wednesday. So, Mary Ellen, it seems like the state is saying that we've won the battle against discrimination, against uh, gender discrimination or age discrimination or disability discrimination, that we've won the battle and time to move on. Yeah, it's really kind of perplexing. Um, this whole, this entire issue just smacks of such hypocrisy because the the state, you know, on one hand, it wants to say that we don't want to fund any programs or, or um, have any classes that even recognize that we have any issues relating to diversity and equity. And, you know, just because that's what what they have perceived. Um, but it is it is speech control. It's thought control. And um, at the same time, they're doing that. You know, just last week when the governor had his state of the state speech, he bragged that Florida had eliminated and scrubbed public universities of indoctrination because of eliminating these programs. And then on the same day, he announced that the university system was going to make it easier for Jewish students to transfer into Florida colleges. Now, that is a very good idea. Um, if, if students feel harassed, you know, and want to come to Florida, that's great. But it's just complete hypocrisy that on one hand you say we're not going to recognize giving, you know, a subjugated group any special attention and then give people who think they're subjugated special attention. And this is the problem with all of these arguments. It's, it's just hypocritical. And, and Tramiel, I think the state is also saying that sociology courses aren't really worth taking. They're too theoretical. They're not based on science or fact, and we've got to get back to history. So what are the sociologists saying about this? What, what are you hearing? Sociologists I've talked to say this is part of like a systemic effort by conservatives uh, to ensure there are pretty much no limits on core concepts of sociological theories in public discourse, issues related to like uh, societal structures, sexual sexuality, gender and race. It's sort of like making sure there is no loopholes where these topics can be addressed or stand in the way of the current political climate. Um, the study of sociology is like, you know, looks at the causes and consequences of human behavior. And going down this path, it sort of would restrict us from even having this discussion about these proposals and um, talking about whether it's right or wrong if we go down this path of can we even have these discussions about the current human behavior of restricting others from having discourse about sexuality and, and race and, and gender identity. Yeah.